Hello everybody, this is Muskin Game 1 here, and today I'm going to be showing you ISD. Um, first off, I'd like to say that this is a new series of Ocarina of Time, Speed, glitch, uh, speed Tricks, Glitches, and Speedrun Tactics. It's just like my Majora's Mask one, except Ocarina of Time, obviously. I'm going to get rid of you. Alright. So I'm going to be showing you ISG. <coughs> ISG is basically when your sword's swinging around all the time, <coughs> and you don't have to do anything. My voice sounds weird because I have a cold. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And your camera's all angled up, like, messed up. So yeah, and to uh, X and to cancel it, you shield <coughs> or swing your sword. <coughs> oh my god. Cold. So the number of ways you can activate it. The way I did it is you hold R. Oh my god. You hold R and you press the B button and you stab. What you do is you press the B button and while doing it you want to interrupt it with something. Like that. You have it. You can also do it with Nebby. Like that. You can also do it, which is the most common way to do it, is with a bomb. By putting it down, <coughs> jabbing toward it, and then interrupting it by and grabbing it and picking it up. That is not it. Ooh, I suck. Wow. There we go. So it'll look like that. You have it. So as you can see, it it it's it takes time to get the timing down. I've been doing this for months, and I still I'm not the best at it. You can also get it off of enemies. And what you do is you um, this is actually pretty hard. You crouch stab, then you lock onto the enemy and press C up and talk talk to and talking to enemies. But it takes some time to get used to. So, uses for ISD. Uh, the most common use is to uh, hover in the air. Now, by now to hover in the air, you have to, in this can, in this chance, drop a bomb and then side hop and drop another one. And then get in front of it a little bit. So now what you want to do is when the left one or whichever one blows up, you hold R uh, back and A. And let and then you want to backflip by pressing A. And you want to keep mashing the A button with your whole setup. Ow. There we go. <coughs> so yeah, now you're hovering, the, hovering in the air now. Uh, this is a lot more complicated than it is Majora's Mask, where you can just backflip and use chew and stuff, because the uh, explosion physics are a lot different in this game. So <coughs> now, which now you can change your angle and stuff by like holding off and then left or right, and then the angle you want. Well, you get the picture. You got it. You got to fit a little bit early. Ow. So yeah, there are many ways to hover. I'm just gonna do like this. All right then. So, uh, one way to hover is to equip the hover boots. 
I'll pull out a bomb. And just time it, and the later you... <clears throat> the later you backflip, and the uh, more distance, I mean, height you get, the earlier you backflip, the more um, horizontal distance you get. So, also another way to do it is to hold up and right or left, pull out a chew, and shield, I'm just pause buffering this because I like to, and then backflip in the diag a diagonal direction, the one parallel to yours. Oh, well, without the cover boots. And you get it. And, uh, let's see, another way is to actually just pull out a bomb and time it, but that's like TAS only, so it's not recommended. Another, uh, hover boots method is to take out the chew, shield and backflip, and you get a lot higher. And to realign your angle, if you get off screen, you either pull out the hook shot, bow, boomerang, or slingshot, and then you can just pull out something else. So, yeah, that's ISG and hovering. <coughs> oh, yeah, I was trying to change my angle, and I didn't even have it. So, to change your angle, you want to backflip, sh uh, shield drop a chew, and lock onto the chew. What? So, you didn't suck. You can also pause, pause the foot. You know how to. It's hard. Um, a good way to do it is to like be up against the wall and stuff. But yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not really in practice of hovering and stuff. <coughs> but yeah, uh, there's also another method called contortion hovering. This is when you take out the hook shot backflip and use a bomb too. Uh, this requires you to be in the, like your view to not, cut, uh, Logitech, Ferntech, whatever, I'll link it in the description. Um, he has a video explaining how it works. So, let's unequip the hover boots. Alright, there I did it because there's not a lot of it on the screen when I'm looking up in the sky. Alright, now another way to do, to hover, there are many, um, is to like hold like ESS position or something and then roll. That is not it. Uh oh. really good But you roll and then do it like a uh, like that. And then you get stopped in there. Nobody likes you. Alright, let's demonstrate this. Alright then, so, it works like this. So on that last frame right there, you want to hold down right, or down left, depending on where you're rolling, and press A. Oh, I keep forgetting to... Let me clip that. There. 
so yeah, like I said, hovering physics are really strict and normally dodged if possible. Uh, another way you can actually hover is to backwalk and shield drop two bombs, then go back to the front and backflip and stuff. Alright, so places this is useful, um, hovering, there's actually a bunch of places, so, which are normally, like, oh, no-brainer, that's gonna be useful there. So, yeah. That's my tutorial on hovering in ISG. Oh, another thing, ISG doesn't let you fall off of, uh, ledges. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed, hope this has been, and, uh, formative, and, yeah.